Kickstart Commerce and in today's tutorial I'm just going to show you real quickly how to push one domain from one GoDaddy account to another GoDaddy account. So if you are a domain investor or let's just say someone bought a name from you or you bought a name from someone else and both of you have GoDaddy accounts, I'm going to show you how it's easier to push the domain from one person's account to an, uh, another person's account rather than actually use what's called a transfer. When you use the transfer service, it can take up to 10 days. What I'm about to show you is only gonna take you hopefully less than a couple minutes. So let's jump right in. So I've already selected six domains out of my portfolio that I will be pushing to another account. And so I'm just going to simply show you how to push to that account. Um, and so it won't be a uh, description of how to receive from that. I actually have another video for that, but this will be how to push domains to someone else's account. So I already have them selected and with them selected under this ownership tab, all you have to do is click on the ownership tab and then go to move other to move to other GoDaddy account. Click that. And then what you're going to need to do is enter in the other person's um, email address as well as I like entering in their GoDaddy customer number, even though it says it's optional, I will go ahead and enter it. And also you can, it links and shows you which domains that are there. So I'm not showing you those domains just out of privacy for the person that I'm actually pushing these domains to in real life. So once you get the owner's email in there and the customer ID in there, or not the customer ID, but I'd say include it, um, click transfer. And then basically it'll say, hey, your request is in process. We have sent an email to that person's email address. This recipient will need to click on the activation link in the email to accept the domains. Once the domains have been accepted, they will then, um, you know, they will then be placed into that person's account. And so if you want to view those domains, so we just push those domains, that person has yet to accept so I want to show you, you can say, go to uh, pending account changes and under pending account changes. Let's see here. You can go to transfers out. And then it will list those domain names that you just transferred out and that person can select you know the entire page and then you know if you need to resend you can select all of them and resend that person an email or you can actually you know if you put one too many domains in there you can cancel that transfer for that given domain as long as they've not accepted once they've accepted then all of the domains you will not be able to find those domains here in the transfer out they will then be removed from your account and into that person's account so that being said, thank you so much. I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Please subscribe uh, to the Kickstart Commerce YouTube channel whereby I release a video every Wednesday. Sometimes it's a tutorial about search marketing. Sometimes it's uh, WordPress tips and tricks, but most often it's about the digital disciplines of buying, selling, investing, and developing domain names. So also please feel free to visit kickstartcommerce.com and subscribe over here in the lower right over here where I have the mouse kind of circling and sign up so that you can learn proven strategies to buy and sell domains as well as develop them. And so I provide a list of expiring domains um, on daily auction on GoDaddy's aftermarket platform uh, as well as snap names and a few other platforms. So please subscribe. Uh, that way you will get a list of uh, domains as well as articles such as, you know, how to how to, uh, you know, fix the MailChimp RSS feed or tutorials like the one that you're listening to. So thanks. And that's all for now.